I will yeah, tell you what a hypothetical hero you would be in the Ukraine. Uh, here's in the thing. Ukraine. I'm thinking about when it's over, if it ever is over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because that's a, this seems like it's a long haul. But when it's over, man, you know what really in the last two years, I've really found, this is going to, this is a crazy way to start the podcast, mm. but I've really found what makes me happy is being of service to people. That's like a huge, it's something that I really found <laughs> over the two years outside of dick pills that I really, that I, but I really was like, I like being of service to people. Yeah. And so, and what a great fucking story to go to what great stories and great, uh, Kyle, I see you shaking your head. What do you already. want? You, because you're dancing around this, and I want nitty gritty deep. You're like, ah, oh, I, 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 I want to go. I want to go. When the, I want when, when the Russians are singing Kumbaya with the no, I there's gonna. Go. I don't think there's gonna be any Kumbaya. <laughs> but I would love to go help rebuild. I would love to go help like people hammering, who have. Are you a yeah, contractor? Or I would love to go help people who have lost everything. Try I, to get their lives back. Ah, ah, ah. I, I think they also... could benefit from a comedy show. Like, like go over there and entertain <laughs> the troops. That's where you could be of service. Gosh, much like you. I'm, I'm, I'm on board for that kind hero yeah, as no, no, well. No. You know, I think I might go rebuild the Sen- Senegal, maybe, uh, as soon as it's nice there, right? Yeah. Afghanistan, once I feel like it's safe enough, I'm going to go rebuild Honolulu them as got well. hit hard last year. There are all kinds of places <laughs> that I'll hypothetically go to and help out once they're okay and safe. Yeah, listen, <laughs> I'm with you, Woody. I'm a hundred percent with you. Look, I'm no, I'm not gonna be up here and be like the typical dude. Like, I could go over there and kill forty Russians in a day. Like, there's, mm-hmm. I would, I would probably shoot myself somehow. Yeah. You'd be carrying. Right. I would trip. I would be trying to do like a gag with the gun. You know what I mean? Like a joke. <laughs> I don't, I don't, think, you I don't go think you would. You're going to be doing no. gags. <laughs> I, I, I think I can handle a, a guitar, firearm look. well enough, yeah. but I don't know that I can carry it well enough. They'd be like, Woody, have you been doing no cardio all summer long? No. <laughs> I'd be like, this Most, <laughs> mostly lifting and dieting. Yeah. Oh, do, do, you remember when, do you remember when the, the Ukraine broken leg all summer? Do you remember when the Ukraine thing was kicking off? There was like this huge Reddit forum of like volunteers to go fight. And like you'd see some pictures of these people like afterward. And it's like, dude, like cardio is not a meme in warfare. (laughs) Like you need to be able to move quickly. And you see somebody show up and it's like, dude, you're here to fight the Russians and you weigh 150 pounds, like more than you should. Yeah, I'd be so, like, comrade, can you carry my backpack? Yeah, yeah. But Woody, <laughs> Woody, 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 here's the deal. Like, like I, okay, 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 okay. So I personally, I would, I don't think that I would, I'm an okay shot when I'm by myself. Yeah. I know you think, you, you know what I mean? It's like mm-hmm. I can hit 10 three-pointers in a row, but not with somebody guarding me. Yeah. But, oh, I so, agree. So I, I am an okay shot. But not when someone's shooting back at me. Do Have you, you ever know what competed? I mean? mm-hmm. They're not going to let y'all shoot anything. No. Dude. Yeah. But that, I, but she, yeah. I haven't really either, but I have shot like with a clock on me or like against moving things or other people and or, and against other people, like, you know, 1v1. And uh, I'm talking about half... game of, game of, like on video games? No, no, no. Oh, I'm talking about like in real life, like against okay, yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. metal plates and stuff. And uh, I am half the shot under that kind of pressure than I am when I'm shooting paper targets at my own pace. Right. If someone shoots back, I have to assume I'm one tenth the shot I am against paper yeah. targets. Like, like, oh, yeah. like dude, if well, someone shoots back, cardio matters. I don't yeah. think it's going to matter because really? I don't think, I don't think these guys are ever moving past like a trot. Like, like, like if you're running, it's because things have gone terribly wrong. Right. Like, like we, the army doesn't run anywhere. We walk and march, but mostly we ride, especially over there. It's all armored divisions. It's all motorized. They're riding everywhere. But right now, if they, if for some god awful reason, they sent your American ass to the front, the front <laughs> is like World War One right now. It's trenches and artillery, but there are points where you're 300 meters from the Russians. They say, and small arms fire is actually effective. But forget about being a good shot. If the three of four of us went over there, none of us are getting to shoot at anybody. We're getting shovels. I bet we're getting shovels or. Hey, how good of a truck driver are you, sir? Yeah. Oh, I'm such a good truck driver. Great. <laughs> Hop in here. I, but you don't understand on YouTube, like six million subscribers. I can really <laughs> drive away, Kyle. Drive away. <laughs> I, I can, can kind of do, do a Trump voice. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, sometimes Man, your motorcycle license would be the the the, co- the coolest thing about you when you're over there. Like, oh, really? You could well, be Kyle, a recon guy. <laughs> Kyle, are Maybe. you are are you are you saying that you would not go over there to help? Not something you're interested in, so, or so not going, in that capacity? So going over there to fight right now isn't the sort of like move, war that we saw in the movies growing up, where where like we're gonna go up there and go get them. Like you'll die and you won't even know how. The, you, something from the sky will come get you. It, 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 like it might as well be science fiction or magic that they're killing each other with because you're asleep and a little thermally guided, a guy with a thermal sight who can see your body heat like the goddamn predator is up in the air a few hundred yeah. meters dropping a VOG grenade on you from the 80s or 70s it's maybe? It's fucked up, dude. You, what are you going to fight with that? Yeah, there's no yeah. fighting there. There's no way and, to and, win. And, and you it, could be fucking no, Bruce, wrong place, wrong Muhammad Ali, fucking so strong. Bruce Muhammad Ali? Yeah, I all like of them this character. Together. Bruce yeah, Muhammad Ali is the and you've got motherfucker four, I know. Four Chuck arms like Bruce Goro. Muhammad Ali Lee Norris. But you have the body of Goro. <laughs> the body of Goro from, from uh, Mortal Kombat. So four arms. It doesn't really fucking matter. Like, like you go over there, you're going to drive a truck. I did see this, though. There were a couple Americans that got captured yeah. by the Russians. And uh, they interviewed him, and and um, white guy and an Asian guy. Asian guy throughout the whole thing. He's got these dead eyes. Even in the interview, he had a hard time. The white guy's telling the story mostly. He's the one who can talk still, I suppose, or at least well. He's like, well, on the first day, they tortured us. And that was hard. And it was harder than that hole we'd been living in. And then on the second day, they took us behind uh, enemy lines and to this facility where then they tortured us some more. And then on the fourth fifth and well i suppose every day it was just torture torture and torture <laughs> they kept moving them it was like a scenic yeah. torture tour they, they're moving them back to like better <laughs> torture Did that, you see inside the bullish it was like good wow. for the torturers <laughs> yeah, while uh, you hit me can i have a over window? on the left this used to be a bakery but today it's where you're getting tortured <laughs> like torture. what kind of yeah um, I am not leaving Bulgaria a good Yelp review after this. Now, <laughs> if, if, if you are the kind of person who wants to go over there and, and help, and by help, I mean fight, like, 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 fix, like clean it up in the aftermath, your best bet, send some money. Because, you know, going over there, like, like unless you're a contractor who, like, specialized in cleanup here, like, oh, yeah, I worked on this disaster and that disaster. They don't want you in the cleanup. They want your money. But I, the, we've got a, a patron who was telling me earlier that, um he just got back from the ukraine i guess he does um drone work here um in a couple of professional capacities and he's been going over there and training drone operators uh, to kill russians so that's wow. awesome I wonder so that's he's told me he told me that he will tag a russian tank with rsk and take a picture for me that's, that's so sick I you really want that. that, bro. I want that. Hashtag I want... RSK. I want Don't that. you miss and make us look foolish. <laughs> <Yeah. Hilarious. laughs> All this points if you put like butt tire on the side too. <laughs> Can you add a yeah. sound effect in the clip? <laughs> like oh. <laughs> <laughs> kind of cool that yeah, t- tag a Russian uh, tank. And I don't mean tagging some fucking Jeep you found burnt out in an alley. Go find me like a, a like like one of those big tanks not one of the not even one of those uh those amphibious vehicles or troop carrying things this has got to be a good one i'm gonna be honest if there was a dead russian in the photo that'd be four stars are you looking... telling me are you telling me that if he tags an actual russian tank that's not four stars if you tag an <laughs> actual russian that's four stars <laughs> i mean dude, you are yeah, a tough gr- you're a tough grader dude i mean come, yeah <laughs> But I, I, th- I think he's honestly hes honestly being a little lenient. It has to be a tank. I'm not accepting anything other than a tank. Yeah, I don't you come be, back to me with some It can't be an individual. It can't be a number of personnel. It's got to be a tank. You're talking <laughs> awfully tough from in front of your Tim Burton. Oh, girl. and I'll keep doing I mean- it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm tough as shit in the middle of Missouri. <laughs> talking about war that doesn't impact me at all. <laughs> Because this is a war that I can be like, damn, that's hardcore. Oh, blues game tonight. Like, <laughs> like it's not as close to me. I can, like, we can talk yeah. about this and I can be like, oh, Kyle, thanks for sending me LA Confidential. Can't wait to watch that uh, <laughs> later tomorrow night. But yeah, that's, that's crazy. So the guy te- is teaching people how to use the drones. I would have thought that thing, you know, he is a drone operator. You probably could have done that on a Zoom call, you know, like I <laughs> didn't have to go. 
I think yeah. it's like hands on, like in a field somewhere. Being oh, like, did he say like, the type of controller? That would have been my first question. Is like it's a big. It's not actually an Xbox controller. Like oh, it's a I have no panel. idea. But but the specific. I don't want to get too like detailed in what he does. But I think a lot of what he does in, in, involves um, doing big surveys of like land plots and stuff. So um, it's a multi thousand dollar drone, like a five to twenty five thousand dollar drone. I remember him talking about prices one time, and there he was like nervous dra- flying those more expensive drones. He talked about that a bit. I have a friend that does the same job. I showed you a picture. Like, so he he flies a drone. It's a quad, right? Much like a consumer drone. And uh, the construction crew power washed your gay on a rock so that when he <laughs> took photos of it and everything, that's what it said. Remember that yeah. quad rotor that was in that video I did? Like, I saw them um, yeah. Jerry rig up a a, a a a thing over there in Russia the other day, or Ukraine the other day with a machine gun on it. They didn't fire it though because it won't work. Like, like it was it's totally propag- propaganda because there's no way it works is it because it changes the, to, like it, it, the kick you don't know anything about the recoil would have been too much for the drone they had it on i have mm. seen drones with machine guns on them and they're not new it's old technology i remember um how big is that drone that has a machine gun on it the one that i saw that worked that had machine guns on it was about the size of like my desk here. You can't see my desk. I know, like um, um, four feet wide by like, like like four feet in every direction. In a you know square. I mean? That's yeah. bigger than <laughs> like I would a guess. Foot square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that thing had two AR-15 pistols on it. Like, obviously, you don't need a lot of the shit that's on a gun when it's mm-hmm. on a on a robot. So it was just like the nitty gritty essentials. And um, it was, and he also had them mounted on little remote control cars, not cars, but tanks. And uh, it's the same guy who invented the A. He didn't invent the A12, but he bought the rights to it, and then he fixed it and made it work. It's the guy who I, who's, who I borrowed the A12s from. Mm. But he had robots and drones with machine guns on them back then, twelve years ago, when I was at his house making that video. And he's a private guy at his house. <laughs> I mean, that he's a guy, millionaire who works in weapons and R and D, but still. Giving you giving FPS Russia those A12s turned out to be a wildly good business decision, right? Oh, that's yeah. the drone. <laughs> uh yeah 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 that's the that's the drone i did a video with for um uh it was a it was a commercial for call of duty why don't they you know i would think a drone with a flamethrower would be just about the <laughs> coolest thing i've ever seen in my life <laughs> that would that would stoke public interest and we'd yeah. be like yeah. <laughs> we'd be like stop sending money into the war machine and they're like we have robots with flamethrower arms and we're like all right like, a little more yeah. <laughs> so they uh they have those they use them for uh for brush and like, like, like they, they can send them out and do those uh those little i don't those fires you do on purpose to clear areas they they do mm-hmm. that a good bit with, uh, with drones Arson, yeah. <laughs> yeah. insurance fraud you know <laughs> sure, sure, of course i know yeah. drones are so scary like, i was thinking the other day yeah. jewish lightning <laughs> like in yeah. if 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 i was going to be some kind of a criminal in the modern world like in a city there's so many cameras everywhere like i was like there's no way to steal anything or touch anything anymore without someone seeing you do it like you'd have to send a drone in to do your dirty work that's the problem with modern too many cameras. You could send a drone in to fuck up the cameras and then go in. Ah, uh, not in our world. No, so you know how it would work though. Like, like they would just go to all right. The camera's broken here. Expand out in, into a bubble of cameras that he didn't destroy, and let's look at every person who walked out. All right, we we saw four hundred fifty people, and then they start drawing those little bubbles around them until they got twelve white males with hoodies on and it's game over because only one of you had a criminal record <laughs> and they're coming to get you like like that's, they get you now what an awfully specific description that was it yeah. was an it was an inoffensive <laughs> <right>? <laughs> <laughs> it was an inoffensive description yeah. yeah it was an inoffensive description 